Space Infinity has already brought you news about the Decade of Venus, which is set to establish three missions to Venus, our neighbor planet, the second rock from the Sun, with the same mass as our dear Earth. And luckily, Jupiter has not been neglected. Now, NASA begins assembling Europa Clipper, a spacecraft set to find life on Jupiter's icy moon. With its launch set in 2024, great news is anticipated as NASA's Europa Clipper mission will discover the truth. Does Jupiter's moon Europa actually have conditions to support life? We'll surely find out with the Europa Clipper spacecraft. The King of Planets, the King of Gods. The planet Jupiter has been known since the biblical days. Yes, our very ancient ancestors gazed upon Jupiter and even analyzed it during the times when the Egyptians built the pyramids. This continued when the pre-Islam Arabians began circulating the Kaaba in what is now known as the Tawaf. And now, traces of that human history remains evident in our modern terms as we currently refer to the King of Planets as Jupiter. The name derives from the Roman Empire, as the Roman Empire had the greatest influence over a wide portion of modern society. So the names accorded to planets by the Romans still holds a firm grip over modern-day astronomy. According to the Roman pantheon, Jupiter began as the sky god, who was mostly associated with bringing the joys of wine festivals and other sacred places and items in the capital. Jupiter was attributed to more indulgences like the spoils of war, which pretty much made him the god of war. When the Romans needed their troops to stand tall and be strong, they called upon Jupiter to assure their victory. For this type of dedication required by soldiers, Jupiter became the main witness in all oaths. As the central god in the Capitoline Triad, along with Juno and Minerva, Jupiter became Rome's chief official deity throughout the Republican and Imperial eras. It was believed that Jupiter granted Rome supremacy because he was the fount of the auspices upon which the relationship of the city with the gods rested. He had more prestige than Viking's father god Odin. Jupiter personified the divine authority of Rome's highest offices, internal organization, and foreign affair relations. His image in the Republican and Imperial capital bore regalia associated with Rome's ancient kings and the highest imperial honors. As United States civil servants swear on the Bible during inauguration or testimony today, the Roman consuls swore their oath of office in Jupiter's name. And now, finally, that revered planet and its most famous moon will be visited as it might host the first forms of life in our solar system outside our planet. Europa, one of the 53 moons orbiting Jupiter, which is said to harbor an internal ocean with twice the amount of water as Earth's oceans combined, was named after a woman who, in Greek mythology, was abducted by the god Zeus. Since Europa is about 90% the size of Earth's moon with its surface made mostly of water ice, it reflects 5.5 times the sunlight than our moon does, even though it takes sunlight 45 minutes to reach Europa. But that also makes the sunlight 25 times fainter at Jupiter and Europa than at Earth, as it takes Europa 3.5 Earth days to orbit Jupiter. It is similar to our moon as it is locked by the gravity of the giant king planet Jupiter. That means the same hemisphere of the moon always faces the planet. Europa, like our moon, also has a dark side. The excitement first begins because scientists have long gathered data indicated that vast oceans lie beneath Europa's icy shell. And now, the Europa Clipper mission will conduct detailed reconnaissance of the icy moon of Jupiter in hopes to detect life. Keep in mind that the potential for life on exoplanets and ours consists of three main requirements. With a recipe of liquid water, the appropriate chemical elements, and an energy source, voila, we have life. Astrobiologists, who are scientists studying the origin, evolution, and future of life in the universe, have firm beliefs that Europa has abundant water and the right chemical elements. Unfortunately, that last ingredient, the energy source, has yet to be confirmed. Our sole star, Sun, is too far away to provide the spark needed to ignite life forms on Europa. However, not all hope is lost. On Earth, life forms have been found thriving near subterranean volcanoes, deep sea vents, and other extreme environments. These extremophile life forms give scientists clues about how life may be able to survive beneath Europa's ice shell. With the assistance of the Galileo spacecraft, which has been in Jupiter's proximity since the 1990s, and the more recent observations from telescopes, such as the Hubble Space Telescope, 
NASA knows that Europa's ice shell is 10 to 15 miles, or 15 to 25 kilometers, thick. And this is all floating on an ocean 40 to 100 miles, or 60 to 150 kilometers, deep. With an equatorial diameter of 1,940 miles, or 3,100 kilometers, Europa is about 90% the size of Earth's moon. But, while Europa is only one-fourth the diameter of Earth, its ocean may contain twice as much water as all of the Earth's oceans combined. And, with Europa's vast and unfathomably deep ocean, it is widely considered the most promising place to look for life beyond Earth. Astronomers concur that Europa's water-ice surface is crisscrossed by long, linear fractures. Based on the small number of observable craters, the surface of this moon appears to be no more than 40 to 90 million years old. And of course, this means that Europa is quite youthful in terms of geology studies of our planet and the universe. Due to the studies of Europa's magnetosphere made by the Galileo mission, it has been confirmed that Jupiter's magnetic field is disrupted in the space around Europa. The measurement strongly indicates that a special type of magnetic field is being created or induced within Europa by a deep layer of an electrically conductive fluid beneath the surface. Based on Europa's icy composition, scientists believe the most likely material to create this magnetic signature is a global ocean of salty water. To this day, this magnetic field result is still the best evidence that NASA submits for the existence of an ocean on Europa. Even more astonishing, according to recent observations from telescopes such as the Hubble Space Telescope, as well as reanalysis of data from the Galileo spacecraft, it is possible that thin plumes of water are being ejected 100 miles, or about 160 kilometers, above Europa's surface. In November of 2019, an international research team led by NASA announced that they had directly detected water vapor for the first time above Europa's surface. The team measured the vapor using a spectrograph at the Keck Observatory in Hawaii. This device measures the chemical composition of planetary atmospheres through the infrared light they emit or absorb. So, with this significant data indicating that Europa's ocean may be leaking out into space, passing spacecraft might be able to sample Europa's ocean without even landing on the Moon's surface. According to the most popular space agency in the world, the mission will send a highly capable, radiation-tolerant spacecraft into a long, looping orbit around Jupiter to perform repeated close flybys of the icy Moon. NASA and other space agencies have admitted that understanding Europa's habitability will help scientists better understand how life developed on Earth and the potential for finding life beyond our third rock from the Sun. The main body of the spacecraft is a giant 10-foot tall or 3-meter tall propulsion module designed and constructed by Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory (APL) in Laurel, Maryland while other parts of its assembly will be done at the NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California. NASA said that most of the flight hardware is expected to be complete by the end of 2022. When fully assembled, Europa Clipper transforms into an SUV-sized spacecraft with solar arrays long enough to stretch the length of a basketball court. First of all, it's imperative to be aware of the nine scientific instruments that Europa Clipper will carry. They consist of the Plasma Instrument for Magnetic Sounding, also known as PIMS, Europa Clipper Magnetometer, Mapping Imaging Spectrometer for Europa, also known as MISE, Europa Imaging System, or EIS, a radar for Europa assessment and sounding. Ocean to near surface, which has been dubbed as Reason, Europa Thermal Emission Imaging System, called E-Themis. Mass Spectrometer for Planetary Exploration, Europa, called MASPEX. Europa Ultraviolet Spectrograph and a Surface Dust Analyzer, SUDA. Scientists are so confident and ecstatic about the Europa Clipper mission, they've already taken their aspirations to social media. With its own Twitter handlers, scientists at NASA and around the globe have created the Europa Clipper mission countdown, which shows that the launch will take place in October of 2024. Although this is the target date, there are tens of variables that could consequently push the launch date forward or backwards. Nonetheless, the excitement is astounding. What aspect of the Europa Clipper mission are you anticipating? And do you actually think we'll soon discover life on Europa? Comment down below. Thanks for hitting that like button. And for more tales from the outer limits of space, be sure to subscribe and share this video from Space Infinity.